Hey, it's Jake with Altitude LED. In this video, I'm going to show you a case study of implementing ProPresenter with your Altitude LED wall when it comes to formatting content for a center screen like the LED wall we have here and your side screens. In this video, I'll show you how you could simply mirror the content on your center screen using ProPresenter, but adding a little bit of additional formatting to your lyrics. So you can see here, we got lyrics on the top of the screen in the center and then on the middle of the screens on the sides. Or maybe you need it to look like this. I'll go ahead and click on our sermon document here where we have content in the center screen that's independent using another instance of ProPresenter so that you have unique content on your center screen versus your side screen. So you can see we've got sermon graphics in the middle and we've got sermon notes on the side screen. So, so much you can do when it comes to the power of ProPresenter and having multiple instances of ProPresenter. We'll dive into even leveraging the power of NDI in this setup as well. We'll cover this all in today's video. My name is Jake Gosswin with Altitude LED. Welcome to the channel and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any content to help you leverage the power of visuals for worship. And check out the resources down below this video if you wanna get started on an LED project for your church. Our team would love to connect with you and provide you a quote for a system. So let's go ahead and dive in to this video on configuring ProPresenter for your LED screen. First, I wanna walk you through a basic configuration with ProPresenter in our video switcher to get our content to the center LED wall. And all we're doing is slightly tweaking the look of the lyrics so that as you can see in the video here, the lyrics on the center screen are on the top of the screen so that people can read the lyrics above the band members who are gonna be standing on stage. And then on the side screens, the lyrics are in the center of the screen where it just looked good because they're high enough and we just like the design of having centered alignment. So this computer right here is our primary computer graphics machine where we have our lyrics operator who is running ProPresenter. This is where our lyric content comes from, motion backgrounds, sermon video or bumper videos, any other announcement videos that we have to play mostly comes from this machine and it is displayed primarily on the side screens and then also it'll be mostly mirrored on the center screen. This computer is connected over Thunderbolt to a Sonnet expansion chassis. Inside that chassis, we have a DeckLink Duo by Blackmagic. What's cool about the Blackmagic device is if we go to our screen configuration settings in ProPresenter and we go to outputs, you can see we actually have four outputs to choose from with our DeckLink Duo, giving us lots of flexibility. We have an output for our LED wall, which I'll talk about in a second, lower thirds lyrics for the live stream, our main displays, which are the side screens, and then stage display, which is on the back wall for our musicians. We are running all of our displays at 1080p, 30 frames per second, including the frame rate and refresh rate on the LED wall is at 30 frames per second. So what we did in ProPresenter is we simply hit the plus icon here and we created a new screen called LED wall. An important thing you wanna consider when you're configuring your LED wall screen is the actual resolution and dimensions of your output signal to the screen. So our altitude LED wall, it's 20 feet wide by 10 feet tall, which is not quite exactly the 16 by nine ratio. So what we did to kind of customize this to make sure the, the background content will scale in a way that looks good on that center screen and um, everything just fits the way it's, it has to. Under output target, instead of having the, the full selected here, which is by default, we went down to custom and then we maximized the width for our HD output. Um, we are limited to the 1920 by 1080 HD output with the DeckLink Duo. We probably could upgrade to like something that has 4K, but we're just running HD in this system right now. And this still looks good on the screen. And then what we did here is we started to reduce the height. Usually it's 1080 pixels high, but we started to reduce this number since this screen, the LED screen is actually a bit wider and uh, less uh, tall than a normal 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is all of our content that we're usually throwing into ProPresenter here. So we are able to reduce the height of the pixels here until it fit perfectly uh, with our processor and the LED wall. And the processor actually just has the auto scaling enabled on it. So all the processor really needs to see from ProPresenter is just the proper ratio of your width pixel to your height 
pixels for the image that you're sending it. Um, and then the content will scale to the right size. So if I go ahead and pull up some content here, you can see that even though that center screen is not quite 16 by nine, everything, the slide content layer in ProPresenter, as well as the background content, uh, it's all fitting nearly perfectly in there. If you do click on some content and it's not fitting, you might wanna right click on the content here and you could actually adjust the scaling. So see, I switched it to scale to fit. So that's a true 16 by nine image of that video now, but you see the black bars on the side of that center screen. So I'm gonna go scale to fill. I don't wanna do stretch because it's gonna distort the image. So this is gonna scale to uh, fit it or fill it, and it's going to uh, simply crop in on the image to make it fill in the, the bars on the side. And when it comes to any text content on those slides, ProPresenter knows the screen output dimension, so it's automatically shifting around like the copyright information on the bottom left and the lyrics and any other text to just make sure it fits within that uh, output resolution that we had set here uh, for the LED wall. As you can see, our other screens, like our in-person screens, those are on full output target. You know, they're, they're just covering the full 1920 by 1080. Let's also talk about how I get the lyrics to show up at the top of the center screen. Uh, this is where themes and looks come into play. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have a theme set up. We have a collection of themes called South Lyrics, the South Fellowship Church Lyrics. And we have a theme to have the lyrics show up at the top center of the slide right here. So if I go to themes, if I go to my editor, you can see we have different themes here and I can adjust the template for these different slides and these different themes. Once my theme is uh, created and formatted, then I'm gonna go to screens. I'm gonna go to edit looks under my audience looks. And then here I'm gonna go to my LED wall screen and under the theme for my presentation, I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna select the lyrics at the top of the screen and centered for the center screen. So now what it's doing is, you know, ProPresenter knows if it sees any lyrics from a slide for that screen output for the center screen, it's gonna automatically format those lyrics to show up at the top of the screen. So it's, they're kind of like above the band members and everybody's gonna be able to look at the center screen and read the lyrics with no problem. So keep in mind with this simple configuration where I'm outputting from this computer, through the Decklink Duo, to my video switcher, to the processor, to the LED wall, the media content and the media layer here in ProPresenter, whether it's a video input or just any other media, background images, it's going to mirror the center screen with the side screens, which in a lot of cases that works just fine. And for the worship services here at South Fellowship Church, it works well to use this type of formatting where we have the same background image on all screens, and then we have the lyrics at the top of our center LED screen and then centered on our side screens. Like that works great for worship, but let's say we get to the sermon part of the service and we don't necessarily want to put the pastor's sermon slides on the LED screen because it just doesn't feel natural for the congregation to have to like look past the pastor and try to read the screen behind him. Instead, we want them to read off of the side screens or we have a smaller TV screen uh, that receives the same signal as a side screen that the pastor can kind of Andy Stanley style refer to as he's preaching. So. We, so we kind of have a conundrum here because we want to have unique content on the back LED wall center screen than what's on the side screens. So the way we do that is we actually have another instance of ProPresenter running over here in the tech booth that I'll show you in a moment. And sometimes we want that instance of ProPresenter to mirror what's going on in this instance of ProPresenter. And sometimes we want to be able to independently select different content than what's being shown on the side screens. So the way we do this is using NDI. So ProPresenter allows you to set up a screen. If we go to configure screens again, you'll go down here and you'll see NDI center lyrics out. So this is the, an NDI feed that is sending um, basically a mirror image of this LED wall screen that I set up that's you know directly hardwired to the LED wall there. This is an NDI path that takes the same image and it's sending it into the other instance of ProPresenter where we can have a video feed going into that instance of ProPresenter that pulls in the same lyrics and content and then has its own video output from that computer to the switcher. But then let me show you what we can do that gives us more creative capability. So here's the other computer that's running another instance of ProPresenter. It has its own video output to our video switcher. 
which is also routed to the LED wall. We can change that routing at any time with our ATEM control software. Um, so this is actually the, the default way we usually have it set up where that center screen is seeing the output from this instance of ProPresenter. So here you can see we actually have in ProPresenter, if I go down to my video inputs, we have a video input that's coming in, that's an NDI input. If I go to settings, if I go to inputs, you'll see here we have a video input one called lyrics and these are our lyrics coming from our primary lyrics computer and it's also at the right uh, aspect ratio to match the LED screen. We configured that basically the same way I just showed you how I configured the resolution of our um, other output to the center screen. And then here the device shows up right here on our network. If it's NDI, you want to hardwire the connection, turn Wi-Fi off on the computer so you don't have any latency. Um, but yeah, the devices will just automatically show up as NDI devices and you add the input and then you create your document pro presenter where you can start throwing on your cues for the video input. So now when I click this first slide that says input one lyrics, it's sending that mirrored image formatted properly with the right look with lyrics on top of the video to our center screen. And then look at this though. Now I can click on a different background image and I can start mixing and matching because now I have content that lives in this instance of ProPresenter that we can call up at any time we want. And what's cool about ProPresenter is you could have different MIDI cues set up where for song one, maybe I wanna have this background, or I guess song two, I want this background, song three, I want this background, song four, I want this background. Uh, when we do kind of a, a welcome time, I could pull up this welcome slide uh, when we do our sermon series. We could pull up this Sermon on the Mount graphic so then the pastor's teaching slides show up on the side screens. So here's what that looks like during a sermon where our pastor slides are on the side screens but the center screen is just showing the sermon graphic for this sermon series. Here's another image for our center screen. Uh, Aaron, our worship pastor, has been experimenting with AI imagery. So this is like a AI image of a, a communion scene with bread and wine on the table on the center screen, just so many cool things that you can do with, with ProPresenter, AI, and Altitude LED systems. So we really like this flexibility of having a second ProPresenter machine, but it's not a complete uh, necessity. Like, like I showed you uh, on the first ProPresenter machine, you can create another screen output for your center screen and use the looks uh, feature to customize what goes there. Uh, another thing to consider too is you could actually use the power of ProPresenter's announcement layer uh, to have different uh, a different document and graphics going to your center screen there. Kind of doing the same thing that we're doing here, but a little bit more limited. It's kind of taking a feature of ProPresenter intended for like scrolling announcements out in your lobby and using it for your LED wall, but it, it could work. I'd highly recommend if you have a campus license of ProPresenter, it could be a basic Mac mini computer. It doesn't have to be super spec'd out. It could be dedicated for your LED wall. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful for tips for maximizing ProPresenter with your Altitude LED wall. Don't hesitate to reach out to us at altitudeled.com to get a quote on a new LED system for your church today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.